What's up guys, Joseph here from Lava GR Auto Detailing and today I have a special treat for you. Um, I just smacked my microphone, so anyway. The special treat today is that we just launched our mobile detailing unit. We had this thing professionally built. It's like state of the art as far as it goes for mobile detailing. I love this thing, it's a beast. And um, in this episode, we're detailing four vehicles, four vehicles for Shutterstock, which is doing the photo shoot for eBay Motors on four epic vehicles. The vehicles are... <laughs> the ve <laughs> uh, and look, I don't care. I know I got to glare my glasses and stuff, but guys, we're freaking busy as heck. We just hired our secretary, which we needed so badly, and she's amazing. Jessica, guys, make sure you do a shout out. I can't wait to have her in some of our videos, talking to you guys, explaining it, um, the detailing process. She's amazing. Okay. Back to the point at hand. Uh, we just launched this new mobile detailing unit. We're doing four cars for Shutterstock, which is doing a photo shoot for eBay Motors. And in return, we weren't able to get a bunch of video. However, we're, we're traveling to Gilbert Motor. And I that up already. So we weren't able to get a bunch of video um, because these videos were, or these vehicles were going up for auction and because they're going up for auction and it was kind of like a secret thing until they went up for auction, we had to keep our video on the DL. We did this in the course of two days. Now on day two, I felt like deathly sick. Um, it wasn't COVID or anything. It was, just, it was just like a stomach flu, which unfortunately like the rest of the team got to like later in the week, which I felt really crappy about. But you know what guys, like what can we do? You know, drop a comment below if you hate us, it's okay. We'll, we'll try to like make you feel better, but it's life um, as we know it. But guys, uh, this epic um, adventure was one of my favorites. Let's jump into the video. All right, guys, so we're on our uh, first stop right now to the Gilmore Car Museum. It's um, it's quite the drive. I mean, it's about an hour from our shop and you can probably see the trailer in the back there. It's uh, It has not been uh, a bad drive though because the way that the trailer was balanced, it just, I can't even tell that it's back there, honestly. So they did a great job. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm actually pretty anxious uh, about the shoot because first of all, we never used the trailer before. Like I fired it up on Friday and then I volunteered at our prize uh, the whole weekend. So I only got to play with it for maybe 20 minutes. We got our three best, myself, Zach, and uh, Kenny. So uh, we're about 10 minutes out, I think last time with the GPS. And, uh, and yeah, we'll catch up here when we get back. Welcome to the Gilmore Car Museum, home to over 400 vintage vehicles. The museum claims to be one of the largest in the world. All right, so I hope you guys liked my little docu-series voice that I did there, but here at the Gilmore Car Museum, it is the largest car museum here in the US and it is amazing. We didn't have time to really check it out because we were here to do a job. So we took our team and we went ahead and introduced ourselves to the Shutterstock team and no sooner than we were introducing ourselves, the Audi R8 had just pulled up. Now, as this vehicle is pulling up, it's something that the world really hasn't seen before. It's an Audi R8. It's built to, you know, 1500 horsepower. And at the same time, it was stripped down into a go-kart. Now, this thing was just driven from Maryland the same morning and it was dirty. I mean, you can see this thing is dirty, but we have to realize as a detailer, you can't jump straight into the detail because you need to leave some engine cool time and some rim cool time as well because the chemicals can damage the vehicle if we're not careful. Now, the best part about this uh, was that we were on a time crunch because we had a vehicle at the shop that needed to be ceramic coated the same day, but at the same time, we're on a time crunch here for the photo shoot. All right, guys, so we made it to the Gilmore Car Museum. It's hot. Now, being here literally gives me chills. This is the largest car museum in the US, and I had no clue that it was even here. Now, the RDR8 has already pulled up, um, and the guys, this is their first day seeing the trailer. This is my second day playing with it, so we're going to go get set up and uh, see if we can make this RDR8 look awesome. So remember, at the same time that our mobile detailing unit is brand new, we're not used to it. We have about 30 minutes to get this thing detailed, but the problem is the rims and the engine bay are still too hot to really be working on. So the photo shoots at 1130. I think right now it's at like 1045, 11. So it gives us about 30 minutes to do a full detail on this thing to get it ready 
for the photo shoot, a professional photo shoot. The clock is ticking. So we just got done with the Audi R8 and the ceramic, our, our, our mobile trailer, it performed amazing. The only problem I would say is that the power washer is way too strong. Like we had, had to use a soap tip and uh, to die it down. But yeah, they just pulled the RDR8 on set. Um, we were supposed to have an hour with it. We ended up getting like 20 minutes. But again, I brought three of our best guys and uh, we kicked ass. And now we're gonna go ahead over there and um, see if there's any final touches we can do and pull in the next one. So the RDR8 was done. We dialed it in perfectly. The team loved it. But the problem was there was still the ceramic coating that we had to finish back at the shop. Now with the ceramic coatings, the GT Quartz lines, you need to make sure that you get your first coating on on the first day otherwise you're not going to meet your target deadline and the customer is not going to be happy so we're now we're on to the second vehicle which is the 2002 ford lightning svt before we move on to day two we did an express interior exterior detail and it came out great all right guys uh so day one, we just wrapped up day one with eBay and Shutterstock's photo shoot. It was absolutely amazing to be here. They were thrilled uh, with the setup. Uh, look at me starting over my words trying to walk. I can't walk and talk at the same time, you guys. But anyway, yeah, I'm super stoked. Um, we got the rig all, all packed up, lightning's done, and we'll be back tomorrow for photo, photo shoot number two, which is uh, the Porsche. And so we'll cut over to that, I'm sure, in a little bit. Day one is done for the photo shoot with eBay Motors and Shutterstock. However, we left Zach behind to do any final touches while Kenny and I came back to the shop to start the five step wash and to get the first coat of our GT Quartz coating on this Bronco so that we could deliver it in time. Welcome to US 131 Motorsports here in Martin, Michigan. It is a drag strip um, that is pretty epic. And guys, we got to do this Hellcat and also a Porsche, but I felt a little bit sick. And so I didn't get a lot of video of the Porsche. I actually didn't get any video of the Porsche, to be honest with you. And, but either way, I want you guys to know that this was an epic, 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 one of our most top, details ever being here on the drag strip with nobody else here i would have never thought in a million years that we'd be this blessed to you know have this kind of opportunity and you know also to be able to capitalize on some of our other first details within the same week we were able to do an airplane detail we did a couple express details we worked at a auto gallery and worked on about you know i can't tell you how many cars um some cars that have never been seen Look, I'm not here to BS around. We're the best that ever were. We're the best of the best. And you know, we wake up in the morning, we piss excellence. You know, you're not first, you're last. And, uh, but either way, like I said in my last video, guys, if you don't have a mobile setup, it's good to have both the shop and the mobile um, so you can really take care of your customers.